Hello, this is Smilefoots. Welcome back to Mr. Bean. The worst game ever played. And we're doing the second level, which is Mrs. Wicket's Garden. Such a stupid game. So So this just looks exactly the same as the previous level. There's the um, mutant dog again. And then there's Mrs. Wicket. There's another Mrs. Wicket. Why is the two Mrs. Wickets in Mr. Bean for the Wii? Why is the two Mr. Why is the two Mrs. Wickets in this game? Like, even those moles bouncing is stupid. Like, the thing is, is... When you look at Rowan Atkinson, even if you're not what... Even if it's not Mr. Beanie's playing, even if he's playing um, Trevor in... Man vs. B, Johnny English, or any of the other things he plays. Like, the thing is, is everything, everything that he's made, even the films that aren't that good in my opinion, are still better than this garbage that we're playing on this video. to a key. The key to the treasure chest. Which is silly because the thing is is Yes we're looking for jigsaw pieces but the thing is is you can't get the thing is is it's silly because in Crash Bandicoot you wouldn't have these bouncy platforms get between same with these like bombs and that like you'd be able to use the spin jump thing in Fresh Bandicoot to be able to um, well to be able to actually get past the bombs without 
having to do something as tedious as pick up the bomb, put bomb next to box, and then watch box explode. And the thing about this level is we've got four jigsaw pieces to find. Not one, not two, but four of them. There's probably even a uh, mole statue somewhere. The thing is, is I would be impressed at this game if it was some, someone in college made or someone who's made their first ever video game. But considering that this game is a licensed game from um, Miss from Rowan Atkinson, well, I assume it's a licensed game. Well, I know it's a license game, but I'm assuming that Rowan Atkinson would have had to be like, yeah, it's okay for you to do this, or, oh no, this game's rubbish. I don't want to be linked up with this project. Do not release it. But I'm sure even if it was like... But I'm sure even if uh, Rowan Atkinson was like, no, I don't want... I don't want Mr. Bean released as a Wii game. I'm sure Blast Entertainment or whoever made this. Because there's like two companies that made it. How can you have two companies make this game? Even if Blast has only published it, like... Who in the right mind would publish this? Who in the right mind would have seen this Mr. Bean game and be like... You know what would be fun? Let's make a Mr. Bean platformer where Mr. Bean has to find cat food. Like, even coins. Like, even coins, yeah, I know that Mario thing, but even coins would make more sense in this. Have, like, a side plot, yeah. Like, if, if I was making this game, I would have it that Mr. Bean has lost puzzle pieces to his, to his jigsaw. He's lost puzzle pieces to his jigsaw, so you're finding it. And then, on his way, he gets sidetracked and looks through a shop window and sees, like, coins. And he sees, like, a, a race car set or something for, like, £12. And have it so he's coll collecting £1 coins, or have it so he wants to buy out the entire toy shop. Um... Like that one episode, Taxi Bean, of the animated show, where he becomes a taxi driver and he literally makes a lot of money and therefore he buys a bunch of scale electrics. He buys a bunch of scale electrics for, um, for him and Teddy to play with. Like, if they did that, and then add that clip at the end, where him and Teddy are playing Scale Electrics, and you also unlock um, the ability to play with Mr. Bean's Scale Electric as well. Like, if you could. 
like unlock a mini game where you were playing as Mr. Bean and Irma racing. Fingers, I don't see why the sling truck can't be number one. It would make more sense for that to be number one, considering that you use it most. Especially for a game that is designed for kids. By design for kids, I mean as in. Like, you wouldn't have something like um, Peppa Pig get a game as bad as this. Like, I, I understand that, like, kids don't have, like, high standards for games. I perfectly understand that, but by trying to make a game that's but using a kid's IP you've got to remember that Mr. Bean yeah is for everyone but who is the young who is the um, most likely to watch Mr. Bean kids Kids are most likely to watch Mr. Bean as a show. So, if you want kids to like want to play your game, don't make a game that's like, yeah, you can play as Mr. Bean, but you can play as Mr. Bean. And collect that biscuit. The thing is, is the people who made this Mr. Bean game do have some talent. They actually do. In my opinion. If it wasn't for the fact that it's a bad game, if it wasn't for the fact that this is not a good game, to represent Mr. Bean. Even that tree looks awful. And I thought, um, and I thought other games were worse. I'd rather play through the whole of Wally Lee again. The thing is, is I wish that the explosive would say use the bomb on the gate. Even the theming of the level is not is not very good. 
Level theming does not scream Mr. Bean. It screams this is a game that was originally supposed to be a different game, but as we could get the license for Mr. Bean, let's make Mr. Bean. Let's make an already existing project into Mr. Bean as Mr. Bean's recognisable and if we use it, we might get more money. With the big word being might, because the thing is, is many kids wouldn't settle for this. They wouldn't. Many kids would be like, this is not a good game. Can I take it back and... Can I take it back and get a different game? Or they would play it. Play it, get like, through some of it. Get to the point where I go like halfway through it. Realise how bad of a game it was. And then be like, yeah, there's no point doing it. Same with like the dog and that, like that dog looks nothing like anything from the animated show. Which, this game, if you can even call it a game, is supposed to be based off. How is this based off Mr. B? Other than the fact that it's a poorly rendered Mr. Bean. Like, I would understand if this was like... I'd understand if this was like a um, college project. Like, if this was a college project where someone was doing it for an assessment, fair enough. I just can't believe a publisher would release this as a game. I am sure many kids growing up, if they were to play this in Super Mario Sunshine, for example, I'm pretty sure they'd want to play Mario Sunshine over this. The reason why I'm comparing Mario Sunshine is just because Mario Sunshine's always been seen as one of the worst Mario games ever made. And if you... Mario Sunshine has always been seen as a bad game by many. Why is a um, bug spray killing a bird? Well, it's not even killing it, it's... it's... One of the flaws of this game is... The 
Considering that this is a kid's game. Or it's supposed to be a kid's game. Like, I wouldn't say it's a kid's game. I, I would think this is just either a game that you would play with a friend on April Fool's Day or a game that you would just literally pay that you'd be paid to play like the thing is even the setting looks nothing like Mr. Bean like if you had it so that like the villain from the TV show, big guy and that uh, little guy as well. Two of them had like seen, had like made a formula for. Get that and blow that other rock. I don't even think anything's behind it. If there is, it's going to be stupid because the thing is, is, this is supposed to be a kid's game. You'd think that they'd try to make a game that's actually somewhat decent. And all that does is give us a teddy. And not, not the teddy that we're after. Thing is, is why are we after Teddy in the first place? Thirteen Thirteen moles this time. There we go. I don't get why the whack-a-mole thing is even a thing on here. Let's talk to the mole again. Moles don't even um, give you anything major. Let's see how many? There's still got 20 cat biscuits left to find. Same with like the jungle level in it. I'd rather it say, well done, you've collected all the cat biscuits, when, it collect when you've collected them all. Just 
just want to make sure I've got them all. Two left to find. One. Two. Well, at least we've done that. Another bad level for another bad game. But the thing is, it feels like... They've made one level, been like, yeah, this is good. And then they've reused it numerous times. We pause the game now. We've got seven of the puzzle pieces. 200 of those cat biscuits and no golden teddies. And all the moles do is just... Give you hints. What's this mall now? There's six mall statues. So we've still got to find four more moles in order to complete this fully. The park, at least that's got a golden teddy in it. You got these doors here. Which you've got to find golden teddies. We've got to find six of them. So thanks for watching this episode. Next episode, we're doing the park. Bye!